Colt Brennan, Hawaii's quarterback, added five touchdowns onto his tally, extending two major NCAA records he's already held. In three years at Hawaii, Brennan's thrown 131 touchdowns, responsible for a total of 146 scores, both records. He's also completed nearly 71% of his passes, which will easily set a record once his college career ends with next month's Sugar Bowl against Georgia. Last night on the Bowl Selection Show, his coach, June Jones, spoke with Reese Davis. He just watched any time we had to have a play the last two years he's made them. And, uh, you know, this guy, this kid is, is different. He's uh, one of the great ones, he's, and he's not a system quarterback like Tim Tebow. Uh, he, this guy is an NFL quarterback and a first-round draft pick, and I think he's the best one in America. Now, when you say a system quarterback like Tim Tebow, what do you mean by that, Jim? Well, I mean that, that you know, Tim Tebow in his system, you know, you guys talk about Colt being a system mm -hmm. quarterback. Colt can run any system. I'm not sure Tim Tebow could run, run our system. Why is that? He's not a, he's not a natural passer. And what do you look for when you look for a guy that's a natural passer? Accuracy. Accuracy with the football and, and being able to make all the throws. Wow. Let's bring in Coach Jim Donnan. How surprised are you by those comments? Well, you know, uh, June Jones has been a tremendous coach uh, in so many levels, in professional level. He, you know, actually went along with Mouse Davis, the architect of the run and shoot offense. And and I've asked him many times about uh, Colt Brennan on the air, and he said he's not a system quarterback. But I really think uh, some of these ESPN games aren't getting over to Hawaii. He hadn't had a chance to see Tim Tebow much because I'm telling you, I've been watching college football for a long time. I'm in the fourth quarter. I can tell you that. And I've watched this guy, Tim Tebow. Uh, he's a a gator we're gonna let uh, Jesse talk about him and it's hard sometimes for me to talk about a gator like this but I have never never seen a guy dominate college football like this guy did this year and uh, you can talk about the system but here's the chance that he has every game as much chance as he has to succeed he has a chance to fail more than any quarterback in America and he didn't fail much I promise you he carried this team on his back he's a warrior he can play in any system uh, you can play pro he'll be a pro quarterback this guy's a can't miss player he's gonna win the Heisman Trophy and I'm, I'm really high on Colt Brennan too I think he's second or third in the Heisman, but this Tim Tebow kid, he is the real deal. All right, Jesse is just chomping at the bit to jump in here. Well, I just don't think a coach should discredit another player's success to raise the profile of one of your own. And we just heard June Jones say Tim Tebow couldn't play in their system in Hawaii because he's not a good enough passer. I would argue that Cole Brennan couldn't go to Florida and run that spread offense because he's not a physical enough runner. In the end of the day, Every quarterback is a system quarterback. Matt Ryan's a system quarterback. I was a system quarterback. Peyton Manning's a system quarterback. You just run the system. You play in and you try to run it well. If you want to brag on your own player, if you're June Jones, you got tons of stuff you can brag about Colt Brennan. He's had a Heisman Trophy career. But to go out and talk negatively about another player, I just don't think it's right. Who's going to have the better NFL career? Well, I think Cole Brennan right now looks like he's ready to be a better NFL player, but that's not to say Tim Tebow can't be that either. You just heard Coach Don and say, nobody has ever seen anybody do what Tim Tebow has been able to do this season. And Cole Brennan could be an excellent NFL quarterback. Tim Tebow still has two more years of development at college until we can find that out. In the end of the day, though, you just don't have to go out and, and bash another player like that. I just don't think it's Seems right. like his comments are putting some extra heat on Colt Brennan, too, as he now comes back to the mainland to play this big bowl game. And, and now there's more pressure on him than ever. You know, didn't we just see if we found out that next year Hawaii's first game is going to be at Florida? <laughs> so a, lot of, a lot of motivation there for Tim Tebow to go out and put in some big numbers. Questionable, you know, motivation there could come back to haunt him.